Hello everyone, welcome to the Talent Tech. Uh, today we will talk about the API testing, how to do API automation testing, and what are the tools that are available to you, and a little bit of description about the API testing, like what are the things you need to know in order to do the API testing. As an automation engineer, like uh, it's a good thing to know that API testing because uh, most of the companies nowadays are looking for somebody who has API testing knowledge. So pretty much uh, we are going to demonstrate you guys how to do the uh, API testing manually as well as automation. And uh, in this video, we're going to just give the description. It's like an uh, introduction of the API testing. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the demonstration that I designed in PowerPoint. So let's talk about the API uh, automation. What is uh, What are the things that we're going to be talking about today? So those are the contents. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about the what is API testing and what is the advantages of doing the API testing and the architecture of the API and the types of the tools that are available in the market for you to do the testing, API testing, and uh, and what is Postman and how the Postman works, what is collection in Postman, what is variables in Postman, and how to do the testing in Postman because. Uh, uh, we are going to do the demo in uh, Postman and we are also going to tell you like why we, we choose Postman in order to uh, do the API automation testing. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, understand the definition. So first of all, API stands for Application Programming Interface. API testing is nothing but uh, it's a test that does behind the scene pretty much like uh, it's nothing has to do with the UI for example like when you do a testing using the Selenium like you go ahead and open a browser and do your testing so it's completely different than what you what you're doing with this medium uh, it's pretty much like uh, your application is under construction or like your UI is not ready to test you still can go ahead and do your testing through the API right and uh, this is the bookish definition if you want you can go ahead and uh, uh, read it and the advantage of the API testing is the first one, the major important it test, uh, uh, advantage for API testing is it tests of core functionality. That means what? It helps you to expose the small errors that can become a larger problem during the uh, GUI testing. So like it does capture the small mistakes uh, during the API testing where you can uh, make those mistakes in the, uh, in the same interest. And, uh, Time effective, it saves lots of time. For example, like if you have uh, 100 test cases that is are running in the Selenium, it might take up to like a couple of hours, like four or five hours or three hours, depends on the scenario. But uh, for API testing, uh, 100, 100 requests or 100 test cases might take less than two to three minutes. Okay, and the test quality, like uh, what happened with the API testing, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, like that. Uh, if your uh, front end is not ready, but uh, your back end, uh, back end is ready, pretty much like that database is hooked up, like back end job is done, you can go ahead and uh, do the testing. So when you start testing your application ahead of time before the uh, the user interface is ready, you're gonna find the bug sooner, and that can be t uh, fixed and tested before it go uh, before UI is ready. So pretty much like it's gonna give you good quality of the software. Second thing, it finds all the errors in. Uh, in your uh, QA environment or dev environments, and uh, second thing is uh, it finds a lot of bugs sooner is uh, when you do the continuation integration. Like for example, as I said, uh, Selenium test might take uh, 100 test cases to execute, and it might take two to three hours, where it, uh, API testing might take only two to three minutes. Right. So what happened is like uh, developer what it, it does right now in these days, they take the Selenium, uh, I mean uh, the API script, and put into their development pipeline, which means like uh, they run whenever they do a commit when they do a changes into the uh, the dev work they uh, uh, connect the API automation script into the development pipeline so whenever they do a build is go ahead and do the continuation integration testing for you so you find the bug sooner and as soon as uh, find the bug and you know developer go ahead and fix the bug QA go ahead and test so it gives you like overall uh, the process it gives you the best quality of the software like you uh, software become healthier right and the fourth one is like fast things release. So this, if the testing doesn't take too much time, then of course the release is going to go smoother and faster, right? So pretty much API testing also helps you to do the release faster than you can imagine. And uh, let's talk about a little bit of uh, API architecture, like what are the things you need to know uh, to in order to perform a API testing, right? So the main three things you need to know is about the API, which is the HTTP headers, 
and HTTP request and status code, code and response code, right? So the headers means uh, it contains two things, authorization and content type. So authorization pretty much is like uh, in order to do a test, you might need to bypass or pass uh, user ID and password inside the header, right? And you also need to confirm, uh, you need to tell the system like uh, whether you are returning uh, the response code you are returning or the request you are sending, what are the content type? Like for example, uh, currently like we are using either JSON or XML, right? So those are the two content types that are we are currently widely using, it, right? So you need to also specify uh, the content type in your uh, headers um, while you're doing the testing. And uh, the main thing is uh, HTTP requests, right? So those are like the four methods that can be done through the API testing, which is a post, put, get and delete right so post uh, post means like when you're creating a new some a new entity uh, post will help you to create something new put means like something you already created but you are going to update it using the put right and uh, get is like when you're retrieving the data from the database right so you, get is going to help you to retrieve all the data and the delete is going to when you want to delete an entity so those are the four things that you will be doing it and uh, those are the four major things uh, HTTP requests or HTTP methods are being used for API testing, right? And uh, the next slide is we are talking about the types of the tools for API testing. What are the tools that are available in the market for you to do the testing? So Postman. Postman helps you to do the manual testing as well as automation testing, right? And the risk, uh, second thing is a risk line. Risk line, it's only used for manual testing. And then SOAP UI, it's an automation, it's, which is a very old tool, which is like fancy, you need to pay for it. And then you need to have Whistler file and stuff like that, which is like very big mass. Uh, back in the days, people used to use the SOAP UI very, very widely. And then there is a poster, which is an add-on, like you go ahead and you do your test. And then rest assured, which is like, uh, it's like goes through, you can write code using Java and then uh, rest assured with just the Java client. Uh, one of the client that you can use for the API, uh, API testing, which is like you need to know a lot of coding, right? And then Swagger. Swagger, it's uh, good tools to do the manual testing. And also Swagger helps the product managers or product people uh, who are gathering the information or requirements for you. So Swagger also being used uh, in a lot of companies nowadays to write the requirements, okay? And you can do a, a little bit of testing. Uh, uh, in Swagger, like manual testing, right? So the reason we chose Postman is because you can do both testing, manual testing and as well as automation. Second thing is free. And the third is generate the HTML report for you at the end. And uh, you, uh, you also have ability to run your Postman inside the uh, command prompt as well. So uh, out of all these tools, like I think the Postman is one of the best tools. It's free. You can do both manual or automation testing. You can uh, share the collections. You can do a lot of stuff. And uh, in our future videos, we're going to show you like what are the things you can be done through the Postman, right? So let's look at the uh, uh, next slide, which is talking about how to install the Postman. Postman is nothing but an add-on in the Google Chrome. So you're going to go ahead and Google Chrome, you're just going to add, go to the extension and then add it tools called post search for a tool called postman and that's it and once it's uh, installed in your chrome you're just going to launch it as an application right and how the postman works so this is the steps uh, that you are need to know about the postman like in order to make a call uh, api call so those are the thing available like uh, as we talked about in the previous slides those are the http request or method like get put post you need to select one of these then you need to fill up those information in the header and then inside the body and then you send the calls right so we, you will be knowing these things after a couple of videos like uh after this so this is the introduction video so the next video is going to be about the post request and then we're going to make one video for get put and one for delete right and uh so on so just look at the next videos for more information how the postman works and then how to do the collections what is a uh, collection means and how you're going to import or export the collections and how you're going to set up the environment variables why you do need to set up the environment variables and uh, how you're going to do actual testing using the postman like how you're going to make the automation testing versus how you're going to do the uh, manual testing so uh, in our next video we also uh, we will be showing all those three things right and pretty much it so look for the next video and we will talk about uh, about the post method in postman okay so thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please subscribe, uh, write comment and subscribe these channels uh, to the others so that uh, people can go ahead and learn how to do the API testing automate, automation and as well as manually. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.